what's wrong with the scale? Anyone know? Right. Everybody goes, you go to the doctor, I do it too, I weigh my patients. But it just gives you that, it gives you a weight. But what we like to do is something very simple. You take that weight and you plot it up against your height. This is quick and dirty, right? You say, what's my body mass index? You get this simple form, every doctor's office has it. You say, here's my height, here's my weight. Where does that put me? Uh-oh, I'm in the obese range. I'm, I'm one of those red states, all right? So this is a simple way of doing it. It doesn't cost anything. Who here has their height measured when they go see their doctor? Good, you have good doctors, good. A lot of people don't do that. And patients say, gee, I'm shrinking. I lost four inches. And no one's met. So that's good. So let's say you decide you're going to, oh, I heard what Dr. Guarneri said. I'm going to go home, and I'm going to go on some radical, crazy diet, which I'm not advocating, by the way. And all of a sudden, you start to lose weight. Well, you can lose both of these women have lost weight, and they can weigh the same thing on the scale. But what's different is their body composition. This woman who doesn't exercise may come in and be less on the scale, but she's all fat. She's what we call skinny fat. Skinny fat is real, and it's worse than someone who's overweight but fit. So skinny fat, this is the person who will come and say, you know, I lost 15 pounds and I can't lose another pound. Why? Because they lost what? Muscle. Muscle. Exactly. Now this woman says, I'm going to go exercise. I'm going to yoga class. I'm doing everything I need to do. She's going to gain muscle and have less fat. The only way you can tell this really is with the body composition. And I think it's important because I have people who get a little discouraged. They say, you know, my pants fit differently and I feel differently. But the scale isn't moving so much. And I said, let's do a body composition, and let's see what's going on. So not only can you measure uh, how much fat someone has, you can also measure a basal metabolic rate. Not everyone has the same resting basal metabolic rate. Some people, you know, you, you probably know people that they can eat everything and continue to be thin. They have a really fast basal metabolic rate. Some people look at food and gain two pounds. Right? So we can determine who you are. And then we can do another simple little test that looks at what's called the hip to waist ratio, where we uh, sort of put a tape measure around you right here between the bottom of the 10th rib and the iliac crest, and that gives us your waist. And then we come around and we measure your hip at the greatest is the greater trochanter of the hip. You can feel it when you just go like that. And this is why it's important. That simple little cost nothing test, the waist to hip ratio, if you're a guy and it's greater than one, or a woman and it's greater than 0.85, you are at high risk. So this is where we start to talk about people looking like apples, right? Do you look like an apple or do you look like a pear? I know in the, my Italian family, everyone looks like a pear. That's less, but it's actually less risk. It's the apple with more visceral adipose tissue that places you at a higher risk. 